here's another update on the MG42 and uh, I pretty much spent the entire day making the barrel and it's about halfway done as you know I don't like to cut corners that much so this is about 50 sheets of paper so it is pretty heavy and uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not but uh, it is rifled again and um, I actually used a different method of uh, rifling than the one previously shown and that is that the um, well, first few steps are similar getting the strip and put, placing it on the base of it but uh, instead of gluing the paper onto the strips I actually basically made a cylinder over it so it's you know loose so it can move and uh, using my fingernails basically traced over these little all the the um, strips and you just do that for an entire thing and then took these pre-made more of these pre-made strips and uh, glued them right between the basically the rifling and then to just you know get the surface more evened out and flush and then you know just place more paper over it and slide it off and you get yourself a paper cylinder with the rifling so it is time consuming but gets the thing rock hard so you know it's just something you're gonna have to sacrifice if you want durability and strength and so uh, this barrel in particular is chambered in 7.62 by 51 millimeter so <laughs> yeah it's a lot closer to MG3 than a 42 but you know it doesn't really matter to me so um, you probably want asking wondering why but uh, uh, the thing is I'll probably w will not make a lot of these uh, paper cartridges since there's gonna be a lot and figured I'll just buy you know fired brass or you know reloading brass and such and you know this these tend to be the cheapest so yeah I mean if I change my mind I can just always make another barrel for chambered in 30 out 6 or even 8 millimeter Mauser if I get a hold of more of these but yeah so here's a blank anyways and uh, speaking of chambering uh, the chamber on this barrel turned out quite nicely actually I was surprised and you know there's no excess space for it to wiggle around and yet you know if I blow the air from the other side and hold it in there's no excess uh, air leaving the back end and yet the cartridge just slides off with the slides out with the minimum you know resistance so that it's actually looking pretty good so you know it actually might work I don't know if not I can just manually cycle it to shoot or even just keep it as a display so you know not a bad deal I still get something out of it so again this is halfway done so I'll probably take another 50 to 100 layers of paper to actually finish it and um for the entire gun probably take a lot more this is just a rough estimate of how much but uh, you know for all the major components like the um, receiver and such probably take a lot of the, these and all these papers were kindly donated by my English teacher and uh, so I got about 50 pounds of these papers sitting in the closet so don't really have to worry about much about running out but yeah and the uh, thing is probably be a, this gun will probably be a semi-auto variant since you know it'll keep the lifespan of the barrel and the gun longer and um, I don't have to go through all the you know laws and license issues and such plus you know Big Brother's watching you so yeah probably make more videos of me you know working on these guns so just to get you guys in the basic idea of how I, how I do things around here with the paper so it won't be like a tutorial since this is you know very vague and there's no specific steps into how to do things you know it's just doing what you think would work so it's very abstract and that's what I like about it you know you get a lot of flexibility flexibility ability 
excuse me, but uh, out of you know trying to make these things. So you know, lots of freedom, and again, just trying to trying to have fun <coughs> with all these paper. I mean, it is time consuming, but you get you know a lot back from it. So yeah, uh, sorry if this was boring. You know. There's a lot of talking, but try to make more interesting videos. So yeah, thanks for watching.